I'm going to talk about the water here. I'm at the falls with my grandkids and and uh, they say water is healing. And as women, it's part of our role as Nishnabe equipped to pray for this beautiful water that runs, that nourishes all life, all humanity and all the animals, all the spirits that are here within the water. And, um, you know, it's so refreshing to be by the water when you, when you offer your tobacco, your sama, to pray for this beautiful life that we were given along with Mother Earth. And um, <clears throat> we can be the, by the water when we're sad, when we're mourning, or when we're happy. And bring, bringing kids out too is... Uh, healing for them also because they get to play and this is going to be uh, good memories for them to learn about the water to respect the water and just feeling the serenity here of the flowing waters down this creek and um, you know it's it's good to go for a walk bring a chair if you need a chair I have my granny chair there so I can Relax because of my knee that's in pain sometimes from two years ago having a broken knee However, I enjoy spending time with my grandkids and am glad to be here by the creek and um, You know it nourishes their spirit also Because they get to have water play and they get to feel the water and hear the rivers flowing so it gets their senses going and it also um, Helps us to connect more with our spirit, you know, being as a family, coming to the rivers, putting our tobacco down and uh, feeling refreshed with the water, you know, just to touch the water that's flowing. And uh, you can see that the kids are enjoying the water <laughs> right now, you know. Yeah, so that's one of my water stories and Ah, Chimigwetchmana. I will talk again later. Naha, bama.